Friday, which means it's all about the food, and today we're taking you down south. Mardi Gras was earlier this week, and the spirit of the New Orleans is still in the air. Sandra is at Louisiana Creole Gumbo. Oh, yeah, we've got the southern flavor going today, and we are so excited to have you here Thank with you. us, Stephanie, from Louisiana Creole yes, Gumbo. Yes. So tell us a little bit about the origins of where this comes from. Yeah, so these are over 100-year-old recipes that were brought here in 1970 by the original owner, Mr. Stafford. My dad bought that company in 1983. We've been running it ever since, but it's still all the original recipes, all of his original spices, his original cornbread mix that we still use. Everything is like to the T from Louisiana. Okay, so take me through what you brought in here with you today. Oh, what are your most popular things yes. you have on the menu? So much yummy stuff. So I would say our most popular dishes for sure are our premium seafood gumbo, which we have here. It has the oyster, shrimp, and crab meat in it. We also have our catfish dinner. We have some gumbo supreme, some jambalaya, which is nice and spicy. It has the Cajun beef sausage and the chicken in it. So, so good. Our red beans is our number one seller. Is it really? That's our okay. number one. People go crazy over so the red beans and the rice. The red beans and That's rice. That's it, yeah. And you obviously, you've got some. Tell me a little bit about a couple of the ingredients that go in yeah. there without obviously revealing yeah, like, all I your secrets. I can't give you all the secrets, yeah. but yeah, we do. A, a, it's a, a multi hour long process where we slow simmer the beans with onions and spices. We have a vegetarian version, which is wonderful. And then we have the original version that has ground beef in it. So a little bit of things for everybody. You can add sausage to it, chicken, shrimp. Um, it'll be a little spicy with the sausage, which is delicious. And then you can kind of cool it down with the cornbread muffins. And the cornbread muffins come with absolutely everything. With everything. Yes. Okay, so tell me a little bit about, you guys are really entrenched in the community. You've been around yeah. for a long time. Yeah. You've got these family <laughs> recipes that have been handed yeah. down. Tell me a little bit about, I mean, the community has really come to, I mean, to, to come there. Yes. It's like you guys are part of the fabric. It is. It is. We we are very proud that we've been around for 54 years this October, and that's all thanks to our customers. We have the absolute best customers in the world who have supported us through three locations now. So we have our Gratiot location, which is just moved a couple of blocks north, so four blocks north of the original. We have our uh, Seven Mile location and our 13 Orchard Lake Road, and they've just been absolutely wonderful and supportive with us for all three locations. And right. now, you know, we mentioned Mardi Gras yeah. uh, on Tuesday, yeah. obviously, yes, in yes, advance yes. of Lent, right, the day, from the day after. And so there's a, a significance when you talk yes. about, like, the tie to Southern cooking and for specifically sure. some of these recipes for in Mardi sure. Gras. Yeah, absolutely. So for us, it's all about, you know, Fat Tuesday up here, but mm -hmm. down there, it's all about Mardi Gras. It's the last day that you have to kind of get all the delicious, yummy stuff that you want to eat before Lent season comes upon us, and you have to kind of give it up. Um, the great thing about us, though, is I know a lot of people give up meat. We have amazing seafood. So many seafood options. So much options. seafood options at our restaurant. So they can get the catfish, our seafood gumbos, our seafood creoles, just everything that'll to carry them through the Lent season. Okay, so you mentioned seafood, and you mentioned this oh, being yeah. a super popular dish. Super Wa popular. Give me a li walk me through this one a little sure. bit more. Talk to me, because I know we kind of glossed over yeah. it, but what's, what's it all in so there? So this is our premium seafood gumbo. It's like the traditional gumbo that you'd find down in New Orleans. So it's a roux-based gumbo, mm -hmm. nice, slow cook. This is another multi-hour process, right? So you get all the love and the flavor in there. Got the onions, the celery, the pepper, the Creole trinity that you have to have in everything. And then we add the sauteed shrimp, the nice oysters, the crab meat, fresh vegetables, Veggies on top, another customer favorite. People love it. That looks absolutely delicious. <laughs> and you know, we're, you're not going far. You're yep. going to stick around yep. with us here for the rest of the show. We are going to take a quick break. There is still so much more to come here on CBS Detroit Mornings when we come back. Stay with us. Welcome back. It's Friday, which means it's all about the food. And today there might be a little bit of spice with this southern food. Oh, we love spicy around here. Mardi Gras was earlier in the week. It was on Tuesday in the spirit of New Orleans is still in the air. Chris is here with Louisiana Creole Gumbo. Hi, guys. Hello. We're continuing Mardi Gras with Stephanie Spencer. That's right. She said, we're not letting Mardi Gras go just yet. So More time. I got to ask, it's all about the roux when it comes it to the is. gumbo. So give me a little lesson on roux. Okay. So this is our roux-based gumbo. Hold it up so that the camera can see how beautiful it is. Mm -mm. And this is a labor of love. With the roux, the thing is, don't burn it because you got to start all over. Constantly stir. Stir, 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 stir. Equal parts fat and flour. I would say a fat that won't burn. So you can do like an oil, um, like an avocado oil, something super neutral. Stir, stir, stir. Labor I like that. Of love. Stir, stir, stir. <laughs> okay. Stir, and stir, so, what stir. is the difference in between like a Cajun gumbo and a Creole gumbo? Yeah, so a Cajun is kind of more of like the low country kind of gumbo. A Creole is more like the, the suburban city kind, right? We have both, though. Yeah, both. You we cater to everybody. We have That's a little right. bit of everything. And not only do we have like the gumbos and the Creoles, we have southern dishes like our uh, catfish dinner. We have our barbecue chicken dinners, our meatloaf dinners. So there's something for everybody. You also have a little dessert I see here. Plenty of dessert, right? Our 7-Up pound cake with our delicious lemon drizzle. 
like that's this one is my absolute favorite. And it then looks our, good. Our peach cobbler as well, so so good. Customers oh, love it. Yeah, okay, so I like a little bit of spice. So yes. if I was gonna get a little bit of spice, what would you recommend? I, I get? would say the classic jambalaya, which is this delicious thing right here. Okay. This has the rice, the Cajun beef sausage, chopped chicken, onions, pepper, celery. So so good. Just enough kick to give you some flavor, but not so much that you're like running around with you know flames coming out. Your well, mouth. you know what, Stephanie? Look what I just found in here. A spoon. Pocket spoon. Why don't you pass that over to me? I'll take a little bite. When I'm taking Let's a bite see. of this, why don't you talk to people? about the new location you have. Yes. It's just pop up now, but it's going to be a sit down restaurant it pretty will. soon. Yes, yeah. so our uh, newest location is our Gratia location. Moved just a couple of blocks north. Spicy, good, mm. right? Good. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have the pop up right now, which is kind of just our carry out temporarily, but coming uh, end of summer, spring, we're going to have the full sit down. It'll have a beautiful sitting area, a bar. Two patios. We'll have lots of beautiful live music. It's going to be a fantabulous time. Hey, you know, when I first bit into that, I was like, "That's not so spicy." Now after it kind of uh, comes, uh, yeah, yeah. It in my mouth a little bit, a bit of spice. Now yeah. you also have two other locations. We right? do. Yes, we have a seven mile in Schaefer location in our newest Orchard Lake and Thirteen, not so far from here, right? So perfect for all the suburban audience. We have. A wonderful place for them to sit down and eat at lunch. We have free Wi Fi, all of our amazing foods that you see here. So that's our newest location. All right, a little bit of spice. You oh, want yeah. the Cajun gumbo, you want the Creole gumbo, yep. you want the po' boy, you Got want some all. spice, you want some cake. Hey, they have it all at the Louisiana Creole gumbo. Yum, yum. Thanks all for coming Thank in this you. morning.